welcome back to the Good Brothers YouTube channel. My name's Graham, if you didn't know that already, and welcome to our video on Rioja. So, Rioja is a name we all know so well in the UK. Where is it and what is it like? Rioja is up in the northwest of Spain, so it's right up in the Sierra Cantabria mountains, about two hours in from Santander. Historically, grapes have been grown there for thousands of years, from the Phoenician times, the Greek times, Roman times. But it's only really since the 60s and 70s that we have developed the Rioja we all love and know. Grape variety wise, we are looking at Tempranillo, Garnacha or Grenache, Mazuelo or Carignan in France, same grape, and Graciano. Four main red grape varieties that make up red Rioja. There's also a little bit of white made there with Viura, a little bit Malvesia, but most of the wine made up here is red because the conditions are perfect for it. There are three sub-regions within Rioja. You have Rioja Alta, Rioja Alavesa, and Rioja Oriental, which used to be known as Rioja Baja. Rioja Alavesa is, tends to be the region which everyone classifies as the best. It's the smallest, it's the most, um, the region which gives the most structure to a wine. Rioja Alta gives a little bit more acidity. Rioja Oriental and Baja is where a lot of the Grenache is grown because it makes really ripe, really juicy grapes. Rioja, historically, is a blend of grapes, very much like Bordeaux is in France. And it was because of Bordeaux that the Riochans did this. They looked at what they were doing and how they were selling to the UK especially, and they decided they wanted to make a blend to showcase, and they wanted to use oak. So Rioja was constructed primarily for the UK export market way back in the 18th century. Nowadays, things are a little different. Since the 70s and 80s, we have the DO system, which is the, uh, the laws which define what a Rioja can be or what it be called. And very famously, there are crianzas, reservas, and gran reservas. Now, crianza must be aged for a year in barrel and must be aged for a minimum of a year in bottle. Reserva must be aged for a minimum of three years, one year minimum in barrel, one year minimum in bottle. So by default, if it's only been in barrel for a year, it must be in bottle for two years before release. Gran Reserva, the creme de la creme, as they say, of Rioja, minimum five years aging. So two years in barrel, minimum two years in bottle. Again, if it's only seen two years in barrel, three years in bottle, minimum before release. Now, there are some very big players in Rioja. We look at Marques de Riscal, Marques de Murieta. We look at Sierra Cantabria. We look at Ramon Bilbao, to name just a few. Very traditional, classic names that make amazing wines. But, of late, there have been a number of upstarts in Rioja who are doing things differently, who've taken that handbook that the DO gives them, that the lawmakers give them, they've thrown it out the window. People like Telmo Rodrigo, people like our friends here at Azpiaga Urate, and people like our friends at Artuque. These are winemakers who are not focused on following a wine that's made in a specific way with a statement of aging, they're interested in individual village style wines, much more like you find in Burgundy. You go, go north, south in Burgundy, and you pick out Marsenet, Volnay, you pick out all these brilliant villages, but each wine is very different. It's the same in Rioja. There is a new wave of winemakers who are doing things differently and forgetting the aging process. 
Also interestingly, there's a huge move towards a different style of fermentation, whole berry fermentation, carbonic maceration and fermentation, which gives us a little less of that classic woodiness and richness, more of that juicy fruit. The Artuque here, which we sell, is brilliant. It's almost like a Beaujolais in lightness. It's fresh, it's zippy, it's got a little grippiness from the tannin, but absolutely delightful. The perfect foil to the more wooded, the richer styles of Crianza and Reserva. To sum up, Rioja has been very traditional for such a long time and made brilliant wines. There's nothing wrong with a Crianza, with that lovely toasted oak, that spice, and then that warm fruit coming through. There's nothing wrong with a Grum Reserva, which is just big and full and perfect Christmas Day wine. However, there's a young breed who are doing things differently, using organics and biodynamics, using different fermentation techniques, and forgetting the aging, just showcasing how crunchy Tempranillo can be, how juicy Grenache can be, how wonderful Graziano can be with its dark, dark fruit and high acidity. There's a real youthful culture coming through, as there are in so many other regions, that's really exciting me with Rioja. All these wines are available here at GB Towers on our website below. The Aspiaga Urarte, the Artuque, and the Dominio Berzio. Fantastic wines. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Graham. This has been the Good Brothers YouTube channel. And if nothing else, remember, drink better wine. See you next time. <laughs>